Welcome to week two, or week zero one as I label it, of Comp 101. Uh, first of all, a couple of administrative things. Um, I've posted this schedule. It's still a little bit tentative. It may change as time goes on. Um, mostly what will change is what's covered on what days. Uh, the quizzes and the exams and the review for the quizzes and the exams will happen as is listed on the schedule. Quizzes. The quizzes will be sort of projects. They'll be task oriented. Essentially they're going to be things kind of like uh, the share and upload homework problem where you'll be creating a document and sharing it with me. Um, just so you know, I just want to put that out there so you're aware of what's coming. Web apps. Starting this week, I want to talk a little bit about uh, web apps. Uh, this isn't anything I'm going to test you on. This won't be in the homework, so you can skip the videos if you want. Uh, mostly I'm mentioning them because I think they'll be handy, and it's a computer literacy course, and it talks about covering web apps, so that's why I'm covering them. Office hours. I have not posted my office hours yet because as of right now I've not heard back from all of you. I will wait until the due date is done for that assignment before I will post office hours. Questions. Uh, so I had a few questions come up. Um, first one that came up quite a few times is, is it alright if I use my personal Gmail account for creating and sharing documents? Absolutely, I have no problem with that whatsoever. The only reason I showed it through uh, my CI is because I know everybody has access to that and that doesn't require you to set up a new Gmail account. But if you already have one, using your personal account is no different than using the one from the school. In fact, I think the personal accounts may have a few more features, but it's nothing that we will be missing in this course. Overview of the week. So what are we going to cover this week? Uh, we're going to cover a little bit more on Google Docs, um, different things things with tables, uh, formatting text, uh, bullet lists, and numbered lists. Um, we're going to start looking at spreadsheets, uh, selecting cells, adding content to cells, some of the features of spreadsheets in general. Um, we're also going to look at maybe some Google search uh, terms, like how to uh, optimize your search results, that kind of thing. Testing out. I had a few people ask if it would be possible to test out of the course. Um, the short answer is no. Um, that the longer answer is I did some investigation into it. I didn't want to offer test out online because an online class is by necessity open book, open notes. Uh, so it would be kind of too easy to fudge that in my opinion. Um, that is my opinion. A lot of other professors don't feel that way, so they do offer test out even on online classes. Um, I don't know who does and who doesn't, uh, so your mileage may vary with that. L like I said, I did try to set something up. I worked with some professors to see if there would be a lab we could schedule, but it was very difficult to find a, an open lab or anybody willing to proctor it or just to even get that sort of approved. That was that was a lot of work. I'm still kind of looking into it, but as time goes on, it grows less and less likely. And a little bit of a change in the way things go in the class. I'm going to try and release more videos, but shorter videos. So if you're looking for some specific information, it may be easier to find. Uh, also, this makes my life easier because editing them is simpler and uploading them takes much less time. Uh, YouTube has a restriction of about 15 minutes, and honestly, a 10-15 minute file takes about 20 minutes to upload. It's kind of nasty. So I'm going to try and keep them to at most 10 minutes. Most of them should be closer to 5, so that may make life a little easier for everyone. The quizzes are going to be very similar to... Um, looks like I've got bamboo growing out of my head.